Sometimes I feel like I'm living in a dream. Where am I? In another world? Other reality? However, I am living the dream here on the island of Sal, in Cabo Verde, West Africa, on my boat Galapan with my partner, crew, and muse, Wendy. We've decided to sail around the islands of Cabo Verde and the West African coast. We're an odd couple, an African and a European, a dancing fool and a dancing queen. and I are going about discovering her country, one island at a time, starting with Sal, and a quick cruise to this bay and a fun sail back to our home base. Okay, that was a fun time in Bahia de Musereva. Now we're going back. It's only an hour away, not enough time to hoist all sails. Besides, Galapan was doing great with just the Genoa. got the Genoa up, but it's only like four miles away, so it's not worth it, and we're doing pretty good just with the Genoa. And boy, I went and checked out the bottom of the boat. It's dirty. I'm gonna have to have a guy help me clean it. But Galapan's doing well <laughs> as it is. He's just happy to have fun and be out with me and Wendy. Galapan was definitely enjoying the moment here, even though he's just flying one sail and has scruff growing on his bottom. It was a short sail then into the wind with good old Simone, the Perkins 4108 diesel engine to bust Gallopin through the waves. Wendy was away hanging out with a girlfriend and I went exploring. I'm looking for a swimming hole nearby. Mani Gabonom? Neo, Ireneo. Ireneo. Neo picked me up. You? Speak in English, in foreign English. It's a Prania Canal YouTube. Okay, you speak English, look, okay? Yeah, okay. And he just picked me up. I'm walking to look at this cool swimming hole and he drove by behind me. He says, hey, I'll give you a ride. Because Wendy, she's out with some friends over there in Santa Maria, so I decided to just go for a look here. And I came to swim once here with my Canadian friends, so... Uh, Higuana. This yeah. is the place. Man, yeah. so cool. It's a nice place. Yeah. You see, you can always depend on the kindness of strangers, especially here in Cap Verde, man. I wasn't hitchhiking, asking for nothing. Like, hey, take you to the spot. I want to see how far it is, if we could walk here with uh, Wendy. It seems like nothing over here, look. But I'll walk a few steps and you'll be pleasantly surprised. I had been here before the pandemic with my Canadian friends Peter and Dave. We actually dove off this cliff, just like this kid. I would jump myself today, but I'm alone and there's no one to watch my stuff and to film me doing a backflip. Right now, I'm scouting locations to film and shoot, as well as natural pools to swim in.
Sal is the tourist destination in Cabo Verde. Thousands flock here from all over the world. But where are they? Nice. Where are the luxury hotels, the bars, and the restaurants, clubs and discos, girls in bikinis? Obviously not here. So let's enjoy some time with just oneself. Sea salt. We should come back here and uh, collect some, man. Just take it home, in a bag, and then like cook it up in a frying pan to disinfect it. Just give it a good wash, and you got this natural sea salt here, man. For kids here, something else, man. Couldn't imagine letting my kids go out and do what these kids are doing. Hey, mom, dad, I'm gonna go jump off a five-meter cliff into a blue hole of washing tide water. And then I'm gonna go fishing right off the side of the rocks there with the tire rising and falling with no shoes on or just a pair of sandals. Man, what a life for these kids. Kind of a trek to get out here, kind of desolate, not the most picturesque, but once you get there, it's pretty cool. Really desolate out here, check this out. There's like nothing, some kind of shack over there. I don't know. And I'm just walking straight ahead, but it's not far. It's good to walk. My legs, my hips, eat at that, my knees. From the distance, these look like small sand dunes. And on closer look, I'm walking on seashells. You know, conch stew is a popular meal called buzio. Obviously, a lot has been consumed. Absolutely astonishing, all these conch shells. There's gotta be a way to use this stuff to recycle it. Isn't there? I mean, this is garbage, it must be somebody's treasure, no? I gotta look up what to do with leftover conch shells and if you can recycle them or turn them into something really cool. Now that was a good walk. I deserve a little grug, Coca-Cola, and why not a cigarette? You can just buy them loose, you know? Back to home base, I was in the mood for something to snack on. One of my local favorites, fried morel. What chef cooked morel? Yeah. I'm enjoying some calm and tranquility before the oncoming storm.
welcome to Gallopin. These are our studios, man. This is where the magic happens. It's humble, but it gets the job done. It's because of the great people like you on Patreon who make this happen. This Living Adventure series. I hope you'll join our community. We've got some extra perks like live updates, news, photos, videos, and I've even taken a stab at writing some short stories, which are not for general audiences on YouTube. And our friend Graham from Australia set up a WhatsApp chat to aptly called Gallopin's Cockpit. Guys from all over have joined, and it's this community that's contributing to the continuation of this living adventure series. If not, you can always watch us for free on YouTube. Make sure to give us a like or a dislike, make a comment, make your opinion heard. I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching this episode of Winded Voyage, a real living adventure series. It's not fake, baby. Mm -hmm.